Okay guys, it is Saturday night again, and I am so excited for tonight's movie. It's one that I have not seen for a long time. Me and my kids used to get it and watch it all the time. It has been a crazy busy week again here at The Love Nest. But I managed to eke out some time this morning to run around and find us an awesome movie and an awesome snack for tonight's Saturday night snack and a movie. And I think I may have just blown a fuse because my TV went out. But I'm not going to let that deter me because we have an awesome movie tonight. And that movie is Flubber with Robin Williams. If you didn't know, this movie is a remake of The Nutty Professor. Robin Williams is absolutely hilarious. This is a great family-friendly movie for a Saturday night snack and a movie. In just a minute, you're going to come with me while we go shopping to find this movie and to buy the ingredients for our Saturday night snack, which is going to be Flubber Floats. Now, originally, when I first found this movie, I thought, man, we can do something with green jello that would look exactly like Flubber. But since we had jello salad last week, I had the other idea of having flubber floats. And I'll tell you what, it is 90 degrees outside right now, so I am so looking forward to making those floats. You guys come with me, let's go shopping and get everything, and then we'll come back here, make our floats, and watch our awesome movie. But first, who's ready to find out what happened to my TV? automatic doors <laughs> right off the bat what in the world do I see here red white and blue converse all-stars holy crap and look at this over here we even have some Halloween hide and eek five dollars LED steak lights that are skeleton hands anyway let's go on over here to the movies I get sidetracked very easily. <laughs> so they got a pretty good amount of movies here today. Look at this. Look at all these VeggieTales DVDs. Holy crap, that is like the entire collection right there. Oh my gosh. He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, Battle for Eternia, 10 episodes. How is this legal? <laughs> Look at this, we have Avatar right here on Blu-ray. How much is that? $4.71. Honestly, I never really got into the Avatar movies. Um, I know there's only two. The second one just came out recently, but I think I'm gonna pass on that one. Oh my gosh, look at this though, guys. They have the Wild Thornberries movie. Holy crap. That is so cool. That is the old vintage Nickelodeon stuff from the 90s. So cool. Look at this. Another He-Man and the Masters of the Universe DVD. So very cool. I have the power. Okay, here we go. We got a whole bunch of Blu-rays here. Let's take a look. What is this? The Judge Playback. Uh, here's Zootopia. We already have that. We actually did that for one of our movie nights. Disney's The Pirate Fairy. There's Sing. We did that one as well. Here's Robocop. I think that's the new one. I like the old one. Oh, look at this. The Expendables 3. I think I actually have that, though. Um, let's see here. Disney Secretariat. I don't think I've seen that one. Let's see. We got Tangled. Guys, do I have Tangled already? I don't remember. I know we have not done this for a movie night. Suicide Squad. No, thank you. Uh, Lego Batman Storks. I don't think I have this one. Have you guys seen this? Storks. I don't think I've even seen this, but it looks pretty good. Oh, yes. One of my favorites that I do have. The Good Dinosaur. I love The Good Dinosaur so much. That is definitely going to be in the running. Kubo? I'm not even sure what that one is. Let me know if you guys have seen that one. We got Frozen, Unbroken, uh... 
And nothing else that really interests me. Oh my gosh, here's yet another Masters of the Universe. The Tommy Knockers. If this was on Blu-ray, I would buy it right now. Here's Spider-Man Far From Home. I think I have that on Blu-ray. Oh, Iron Man 3. I thought it was Iron Man 1. I do not have Iron Man 1 on Blu-ray yet. Nanny McPhee. From what I remember, my kids loved this movie, but I thought it was so cheesy. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything interesting here, except for maybe storks. Okay, we did not find anything at the Goodwill, but I had another idea. I thought we would come on over here to this gigantic library in Perry Township. I have not been over here for quite a while, but the last time I was here, they had a pretty good selection of movies. And right here they are, guys. I gotta be kinda quiet in here because it is the library, but look at this. They have tons of movies in here that you can rent. All the way from there, around here, all the way down here. Oh my gosh, they have so many good things. Look at this, they have all the Ghostbusters, well, maybe not all the Ghostbusters movies, but they have Afterlife, and then they have this remake here, which honestly, I didn't like very much. Look at this, Friday the 13th, Frankenstein over here. What is this, Freaks? Ooh, look at this, they even have the Halloween movies. How cool is that? Scream, scary movies to tell in the dark, scary movie one and two, look, they have Saw, they have all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Look, they even have Top Gun and Top Gun Maverick. This whole row is all TV shows here. Oh my gosh, look at this. They have the complete series of Mork and Mindy. What in the world is this? Aliens Stole My Body. <laughs> I have never heard of this. And look at this over here in the kids section. They have a ton more movies. I knew they had to have more. Wait a minute, look at this. Nickelodeon Out of the Vault Halloween. Holy crap, it's all the Halloween episodes of our favorite Nickelodeon shows. Okay, well, they didn't have anything that I wanted only because it was mostly DVDs. I have to watch a Blu-ray downstairs on that huge TV or else it looks horrible. So I have one more place that I want to go look. It's called The Exchange. It's basically a place where people like bring in and sell their DVDs and, uh, and then obviously you can buy them. So let's go on over there. Okay, so this is the exchange up here. Yeah, guys, this place has tons and tons of DVDs, Blu-rays, 4K. Yeah, these are all DVDs all through these aisles here. But what I want, obviously, is Blu-ray and there's a couple of aisles of that as well. So this whole section here is horror. And they even have like the horror bobbleheads and stuff up here. Kids Blu-rays all throughout here. And uh, I think that's DVDs down there, but it's still a kids section. Look at all the pops that they have up here. Okay, so I ended up getting a movie, guys. Right before I found it, though, they turned on this music really loud. Look at this. Flubber. And yes, it is a DVD right after I got done saying that DVDs don't look very good on my TV. However, I looked and they didn't even put Flubber out on Blu-ray or 4K at all. But once I saw it, I knew that's what we had to watch tonight. Now we just need to go get our snack for Flubber and I have an awesome idea in mind. So let's hit Walmart. Okay, we are at Walmart and I have a feeling Marion needs to ward off some vampires because she told me to get a bunch of garlic. All right, so we are in the ice cream section now because we are going to make flubber floats tonight. So what we are on the search for is green ice cream. And the funny thing, okay, right here, mint chocolate chip. That would actually work, although it's flavored like mint. But look at this, they have Blue Moon and they have Super Scoop, which is actually like a uh, Superman ice cream. If you ever go to those places where they scoop out your ice cream, just ask for Superman and you should get that, it's delicious. So I don't know if we're actually gonna find any other green ice cream except for the mint chocolate chip that I'm seeing everywhere in here. Oh my gosh, look at this one though, guys. It's from Ruggles, it's now called Smith's and this is monster cookie ice cream. Look at that. Look at this. They even have it in a brand called Perry's Superhero Ice Cream. I can taste it right now. So I'm having a really hard time finding anything that is carbonated and green. Like here's this watermelon lemonade by Sunkiss, but I highly doubt the actual color of it is green. Here's Hawaiian Punch 
greenberry rush, but I really don't want that flavor to be honest. So I'm gonna try something a little bit different here. I'm gonna get some of the Sprite. It is carbonated, it's zero sugar, and it's perfectly clear. Well, I guess that idea is not gonna work. I was looking for some kind of a drink mix that might turn it green. I want nothing that tastes like tea. <laughs> and the only other things I'm seeing are cherry. There's grape back there. Here's fruit punch. Nothing green. I thought maybe we'd find like a lime or something. All right, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why did I not think about Mountain Dew? You, sir, are coming with me. Guys, people in here are absolutely nuts. Just come flying around the corners without looking or anything. Okay, back to the ice cream. We gotta find our green ice cream now. Wait a minute, maybe sherbet. Um, okay, no, I only see orange, red, white, and blue. Neapolitan. And once again, mint chip ice cream. So, if you guys wanted to, you could use the mint chip ice cream. I'm sure it's still going to be delicious. We do have our green uh, Mountain Dew over there. So I'm just going to get some vanilla ice cream for myself. You never know. You might be able to find green ice cream at like the Giant Eagle or just another store. Or maybe even your Walmart would have it. But mine doesn't have anything but mint chocolate chip. Not even lime. See, look at this. We could have kept it easy and just made flubber pops. They have monster lemon lime pops right here. They're all green. Done deal. All right, we are back, and I have no idea what happened to my TV downstairs. The fireplace doesn't work, the DVD player, nothing. The whole power strip is out, and I have no idea why I can't find a flipped breaker or anything. And everything else in the house seems to be working perfectly fine. So I guess we're gonna watch Flubber up here in the living room. Anyways, that's how it goes sometimes. So let's go ahead and get set up in here and we are gonna make our, what I even call them, Flubber floats. Oh, I swear, sometimes things get so frustrating but you just gotta keep flubbering along. So, <laughs> so as I showed you at the store, guys, we have Mountain Dew, and this is Diet Mountain Dew. You can get any kind of Mountain Dew you want. So we also have ice cream, and those are the only two ingredients you need. Green pop and ice cream. Preferably green, but I could only find the one green kind of ice cream, and it was mint, and I'm not sure if that's what you want. I don't know how that would go with Mountain Dew. So for the purposes of this video, and because it looks cool, I am gonna use a mason jar to put my float in. And this has got to be one of the easiest snacks you'll ever make. And it's not really even a snack, it's just a drink to have with whatever snack you have. But I wasn't smart enough while I was out at the store to actually get a snack to eat with our delicious float. So we're gonna take our green Mountain Dew, pour it into our mason jar, just about that much. Then we're gonna take our ice cream, and scoop out a nice ball to put right in there. Look at that, oh my gosh, that looks so good already, guys. It's just a ball of ice cream floating in Mountain Dew. <laughs> I'm gonna put one more ball in. Add a straw in there, and there you go. How easy was that, and how delicious does that look? Look at that, a flubber float. I feel like I'm cheating because it was so easy to make this. <laughs> you know what would be even more delicious? If you put this in a blender and made it like a Mountain Dew shake, I bet that would be so good. Guys, look at how it's foaming up. Like as the Mountain Dew tries to eat the ice cream that's inside, that is too hilarious. Maybe it's turning into actual flubber. Okay guys, well I'm gonna go downstairs, have my flubber float, and watch flubber. Wait, never mind. I'm not gonna go downstairs and watch flubber because my TV is broke. What in the world is happening? I'm gonna go into the living room and watch flubber float. Oh my god. I'm gonna go into the living room and watch flubber while I drink my flubber float. That is my foaming flubber float. It's still delicious. <laughs> All right, guys, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, leave me a comment below if you make yourself foaming flubber floats, and if your TV breaks on you, what in the world?